Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and actually welcome to another competition video. Now before we begin guys I want to say a bit of an apology because it has taken me quite a while to get this one done obviously because I put the 7,000 subscriber as the priority video of the time and all of this week. I've just been very very busy in the evenings um, and daytime so I haven't really had much time to film videos that's why yesterday i did that timeline video because it was a nice little simple one um but today i'm back it um back at it and yeah i'm gonna do the um competition today it's only just over a week actually so it's not the worst um i have had longer gaps in the past but um yeah, anyways let's just get straight into it so yeah today we're doing 55 can cry ye as um recommended by you guys and actually i did like the idea of this one as well so yeah 55 can cry ye so let's just get straight into it i did actually used to have a custom on myself but i don't know where it's gone if I just search blue quickly, I did. I can show you all it did, or it was similar to. So if it would load up, I think it was one like I had something like looking like that. Uh, no, it was um, yeah, the light blue. Here we go. My my can cry. You look like that, which was just a very very light blue, thick atmosphere object. So that'd be my example um, of the object. But anyways, if I just go ahead and search 55, we've got a lot of uh, contenders this one. So yeah, we'll just um, go ahead and start off with Mr. Mislots one since it's first here. So let's um, place it down. So let's see what we got. And oh, that is looking very fine indeed already. I am liking that. It's got a red tint to it by the looks of it. Whitish blue coloured atmosphere. Does look very hot indeed. I, I do like that glow to it actually with the tint. That's looking quite cool. But um, just to show as well, if, is it that background doing that? Okay, maybe the background doing it slightly because it is lit up a bit. So if we just quickly go to... If I just go here quickly... Turn it all the way down. That's what it actually looks like. So, yeah, I did actually. Um, the background was giving him a little hand with making it look. Good there. Um, but yes, that's what it actually looked like. So, yeah, we'll have to um, kind of have the background making things look different from what they actually are. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. But nonetheless, it still looks really, really cool with the atmosphere color. I do like that, like light blue color with the red underneath. That is looking very, very nice. So that's it there. That's underneath. So it's a very, very reddish pink color tint to it. So there we go, there is that. Next up we've got a um, Mark's one, so we'll place that in here. So his one is a very, very hot one, very glowing, as we can see here. No atmosphere. Has it got any surface colours? Uh, it's got some reds to it, but it's mostly very, very hot indeed, so you can't really see the surface colour um, underneath it. So that's a very, very hot one there. Next up we've got Blue's one, so let's go ahead and spawn with him. So he's gone with a very dark sort of blue colour to it, a very like, dark turquoisey blue. Obviously um, 800 degrees in temperature as well. So there it is. Next up, we've got Zane B's one. So I'll place that in there. And his one's actually looking a little similar to mine, actually. But it looks like he... Is this a gas giant texture? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Look at that. So he's actually got a gas giant texture on a rocky planet there with some clouds and atmosphere to it as well. Looking very, very nice. So, yeah, very similar to mine. That's my one there. So, yeah, pretty similar. Indeed. Um, Can I turn mine up? Can we see it? Ah, it doesn't really do anything. Oh, well. So, rightio. Next up, we've got um, Gamer Team's one. So, let's place that in here. So, here it is. So, he's also he's also gone with a blue atmosphere with a blue surface underneath with some white areas as well. And then a very black sort of looking surface. Very grayish black surface there. So, there we go. Next up, we've got Giga Man's one. So, we'll spawn that in there. So, he's also gone with a very hot and fiery colored one. And obviously, the real planet is thought to be looking like this, but... Um, yeah, there we go. So next up, we've got Gurun's one. Let's see if this one places. There it is there. So he's gone with a very, very... Look how glowing this remembers. And remember, the background is not lighting this up. He's tinted it green, and it's glowing green. That's pretty cool. It's 2,000 degrees as well. Damn. So that one is really, really heated up. Very, very greenish color there. Reminds me of an emerald. Um, right, next up, we've got Lyra's one. So let's spawn that in there. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong um, again. Um, so here, here is his one. So he's also, he's gone with a dark red and black theme. So we've got sort of two sort of themes going on with these objects. We've got the blue, the bluish colours that are a colder temperature, and then we've got like the black and red ones, which are a lot higher temperature, like this one, for example, and then Gigaman's one here, and now this one. So we've got like sort of two themes going on. Next up, we've got a uh, Mad Planet guy as well. We've got a lot of submissions today as well, guys. Yeah, massive thanks um, for that. Cause it's pretty cool having a lot of people doing it, and he's also rolling with a blue atmosphere but it looks like he's got a um some ooh. so he's been playing around with some surface textures because he's got craters on it that's looking really fine i wish more custom textures had stuff like this it just looks so good so let's get a full look around so there it is there very very cool with the craters so there we go but does it suit the diamond planet which is supposed to be pretty hot would it have craters you think right and last up we've got ninja Joe's one here 
So they spawn it in. He's gone for a very menacing red one with a red tint to it. Look at that. So there it is there. Very, very red as well. Wow. So let's turn off flashlight mode as well. Back to what it is. So that's a very, very red menacing glow. So that's our lineup for today of all the 55 can cryes. So yeah, two variants. Honestly, we've got the colourful ones. Then we've got like the red and black sort of ones. So it's basically, I guess I could pick two winners for this one, honestly, just because of the different types. Um, so yeah. So I've seen loads of art of 55 Crown Cry before, and if I'm, I'll just search it up now just to uh, get a little more idea of what it could look like. And it it does show a black and reddish object, but in other pictures it shows a blue atmosphere object with a red surface and stuff like that. So it's sort of two different art or art pieces to go off here. So which which one it looks like in reality, who knows? But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, go, I'll pick two, I guess. So I'll pick one for the red and black ones, and then I'll pick one for the... Uh, blue colored objects and stuff like that so right going back to the list here now so yeah we'll go make live so we get them all lined up so there we are right so the red and black objects so they can all be split into their own little area because yeah they're, they're, they're their own sort of species of it i guess so yeah all of these guys there'd be one um set of um objects of 55 can there and then over here we've got the more i guess this one would be in the middle actually but it still has a blue atmosphere so i'll count it as an atmosphere one so here are all of the regular ones so there we are right looking good and there's my one at the end so right i'll start with the atmosphere one so out of these guys all of them are looking good i have to say that the, the atmosphere on all of them is looking very very right on the ones that do have atmospheres the blue is definitely looking good but with this green one here although it looks cool green a green planet that's what i'm thinking there's a green planet suit 55 can cry i mean it's supposed to be pretty hot in temperature and the art is showing it to be blue in in color so green does it really match the criteria is um what i'm thinking to myself you guys let me know in the comments as well because remember this is an opinion not a fact so if you guys have different opinions that is fine go ahead and feel free to um let me know which one you think um would win this but um yeah, green, nonetheless, though, gr green, does that really work for um, the 55 Crown Crows? That's the, probably the most odd one out of all of these in colour-wise. It's the only one that doesn't really match. Um, so, obviously, all of these have got a bluish colour to them. Obviously, this one's got that light blue atmosphere um, on it, even though it does look pink. Then we've got all of the red and black ones over here. But that green one doesn't really fit into either category, if you ask me. It'd be somewhere in the middle here. It doesn't really match. It's because it's been tinted. So, if it wasn't tinted, it would look like one of these. But even with the tint... It looks green, so it doesn't really fit in this area. It's a pretty peculiar one, um, if I say so myself, um, with that one. But going back to these guys, I think out of the um, ones here, I definitely do like Zane B's one. I like Mr. Mislot's one with the pinkish colour to it. And I do like Gamer Team's one here. Although I do think the craters on this one look cool, I don't think it really works for a 55 Crown Cry E myself. But yeah, it does look really cool underneath nonetheless. And obviously this one as well. I do like the Dark Turquoise and the glow but i do think the lighter blue does work quite well for this so they're my three for the the um bluish color type ones but now going over to these guys since there's only four of them i think i'd pick which one i'd go for straight away now out of these we've also got this one here which is very very hot in temperature pretty much all the magma there and we have this one which is a lot cooler then we have gigaman's one over here quite similar to marks honestly color wise it's just the temperature's a little less so yeah there's that then over here we have this one as well and it doesn't say who it's made by which is quite annoying i had to i know with some of these i actually have to rename the files just so i know who's who so so that's this so we've got marks and we've got gigaman's one so it's either lyra's or ninden joe's so is that one of those two so oh we're picking between those they're all very similar so it's be quite hard to pick out of all these hmm, I'm, I'm not sure honestly i mean they're they're all very very similar it's just the temperature is different i mean they've all got like all underneath they're all the same colors oh, like we've got reds and blacks that one's got a bit of yellow on it but they're all reds and blacks mainly that's the we can see a similarity between these we can see some common ground that they're all going with the same sort of color so they're all very very similar but visual wise with the way they been presented to me i think giga man's looks the best because uh, it's it, this one to me is a little too yellow it's a too bright in temperature but this one i think is just right I think, I think these two are a little too cool for the um, idea that they're going for because the concept art shows it to be quite a lot of magma but not so the whole thing is covered in it. But I think Gigaman's one does uh, fit quite well in sort of the middle 
if you ask me. It's either it's either between one of this one or this one here. It's definitely one of these two for me. I don't know. It's definitely between one of these two. I mean, you could almost say it. this one has too much magma on it as well. I mean, it's definitely got more magma than surface. But this one here, I'd say it has quite a good mix between the two. So, I'm, so wh whose is this one? This is, is this an in, is this Joe's one? Yeah, that's Joe's one. Okay, that's got a reddish tint to it as well. I'm liking the reddish tint on that. So I think out of the lava ones, the really, really hot ones, I think I'd go with Nintendo's one then for, for these ones. So, yeah, I'll go with that one on that. But now going back to these guys, out of all of these, so yeah, remember, this, the atmosphere on this one is very, very blue. It just looks pink because of the surface underneath, which I do, I do like that idea with it. So then between these three... These two are fairly similar with color-wise. That one's the most unique in color. Um, but this, and then we'll see. It's basically the gas giant-looking one versus the rocky planet-looking one. Now, this one does have some clouds to it. Now, does that work as well? I mean, that they both have clouds. They all have clouds. Mm. Yeah, I'd say yeah. The clouds are a nice addition, actually. But picking between these three, I'm uh, I'm just gonna go with my gut feeling. I think Mr. Mislot's one for me. Is the best looking one. I do like the tint on that. I, I do like the really, really light blue atmosphere with it. With the pinkish tint as well. Because that matches the other concept art. Where it shows it as a more of a cooler looking object. With a blue atmosphere. With a pinkish tint underneath the blue atmosphere. That matches the other concept art. Which is going around. Like There's two variations of concept art. So going between the two concept arts. I think for me. These two match the concept arts the best. Now, that's just my opinion. You guys let me know um, in the comments or the live chat, because this will probably be one of those premiere videos. But for me, I think these two are the best two out of all of these, out of the, each of their own sort of subspecies. I guess we've got the hot ones and we've got like, the blue colored ones. So for me, both of these two are the winners. But if I had to pick one, oh, if I had to pick one, I think I would roll with Mr. Mislot's one. Because I just, I just like the, the more color to it. For me, that would be the top one. So, yeah, congrats to both of these guys, though, because they are the top of both of their, like, um, teams, I guess, both of their uh, groups of objects. So, yeah, for me, these are the top two. But, yeah, let me know um, which one you think um, down below in the comments, guys. And also, let me know which object you guys want to see next. I've already seen some um, people giving ideas on what they wanted to see. But if you've got any more ideas, then um, let me know in my Discord server. Link to that will be in the description because that's where we do all of the competition stuff. So, yeah, let me know there. But, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. Um, help us on the journey to 8,000 subscribers now. And obviously a massive thank you for 7,000 again. I'll try and get the 7,000 subscriber special part two out soon. Um, hopefully by the weekend. Um, but, yeah, massive thanks um, for that again, guys. And also, let us... Um, yeah, let's also go for about 30 likes on this video as well, guys, because that would be amazing. It really helps out the channel. And, yeah, that's about everything. So, yeah, let me know which one you think won out of all of these. For me, it's definitely these two. It's a very, very close, but they're both they're winners of their own genres, I guess. So, yeah, there is that. So, yeah, congrats to Mr. Mislot and Nintendo for um, their objects. But, also, a massive thank you to everyone for sending these in in the first place. So, obviously, without you guys, we wouldn't even be able to do these. So, yeah, we had a lot of them today. We had um, the 12 objects in here. So, yeah, we had 11... Um, different ones sent in, so yeah, really, really cool. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So yeah, massive thanks um, as always, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.